It was 2008 when I think I coined the term data painting, and I'm still looking for anyone else before 2008 used this um, wording. And 2008 started to work with the custom algorithms and softwares, which is allowing me and team to understand the invisible pattern of data around us. In 2016, I was one of the first generation artists working with AI at Google and Google invited an artist to learn how to use AI to create art. And the idea here is to try to create experiences with using collective memories of humanity. This can be the image archive, such as nature, or space, such as NASA GPL, Mars, ISS, Hubble, or it can be culture, such as MoMA, Museum of Modern Arts archives. So in the studio, we are working with diverse amount of archival data sets and letting machine learning algorithms learn from them to create machine hallucinations or machine dreams. So here we are seeing incredible amount of millions of images about nature. Like specifically this part you are seeing here is the flowers. And from this data, if you come here, we trained an AI and this is a real-time AI application. It may be one of the first in the world that allows us to look at what AI learned from that data. So here I am flying literally in the mind of a machine. And on the right side, this algorithm can create almost realistic photos of flowers. And as you see here, it is also real-time, can interact with the AI's mind. This, for example, algorithm can real-time go and find an image here and represents what a machine can dream. So what you are watching here is, for example, this one. It's literally taking 300 million raw image archive from nature and reconstructing a data sculpture. Here, we are watching an AI kind of dreaming the dreams of a satellite, such as ISS, MRO, and Hubble telescope. A Hubble telescope by NASA GPL is recording the universe for us, the galaxies for us. And the question was, what will be the dream of a telescope? And how can we visualize the dreams? AI in my mind is a collaborative co-creator. The idea of working with large data sets that are beyond our capacity of, as humans, capacity of imagination and even, I guess, cognitive capacity. Like, let's imagine a million images of all the flowers in the world. There is no single way to remember all the flowers in the world. But with AI algorithm, I can easily say that in this AI model, there is all the flower types in this AI model. Now, I want to imagine a brush that I can put in this mind of a machine and paint with this pigmentation. To me, the art making is still the art making, but the brush itself is invented. The pigment is invented. The context is invented from scratch. This tool is intelligent. This tool can enhance the human mind and our capacity of imagination, learning, remembering, our cognitive capacity can be enhanced by AI. I see a lot of possibilities in a good way. Instead of pushing human out, I'm just more seeing that as a human using AI for me, enhancing my skill set, AI is allowing me to go beyond what I can do. I'm seeing not a threat, but more like an advantage of like applying to my conscious model, cognitive capacity. AI can bring an extreme positive possibilities for humanity. It's really all about how we look from and where we look from. And I do believe AI is just a form of mirror, and that's about humanity, not about AI.